All right, we want to simplify 3 times the fifth root of 729 times x to the 24th power completely and write our answer in radical form. All right, so starting with the 729, we're taking the fifth root of that. You can check in your calculator, but 729 is not a perfect fifth root, so we have to simplify it. If we make a list of fifth roots, 1 to the 5 power is just 1, 2 to the 5th is 32, 3 to the 5th is three, 243, 4 to the 5th is 1024, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah. All right, so obviously um, 4 to the 5th is too big for our purposes. So we're going to scratch that out. Um, we're going to try to break down 729, see if any of these other numbers will go into it. Well, it just so happens that 729 divided by 243 is equal to 3. So what we can do is rewrite it as 3 fifth root of 3 times 3 to the fifth power. And then for the x's, um, 5 will go into 24 4 times. Um, so we have, if we break it down to x to the 20 and x to the fourth, um, that way we have that the twentieth power will give us a multiple of five, and that's what we want. We want to be able to pull out all of our fives. Let me squish this up. All right. So next step, we can um, take out the perfect fifth roots. So um, I can pull a three out because three to the f the fifth root of three to the fifth would just be uh, three. So, so far I have 3 times the 3 that's already there. And then for exponents on variables, you divide the power by the root. So 20 divided by 5 would be 4. I can take an x to the 4th out. And what's left is a 3x to the 4. And we just want to clean that up. It would be 9x to the 4th power times the 5th root. Oh, but I forgot my 5 there. Of x to the f of 3x to the 4th. And that would be the final answer. We can't clean it up any more than that.